providing knowledge and skills to millions of people. That is the challenge for the education system of this country and for that matter for any country. If you just look at the demography of this country, we have progressed significantly, but even now there is significant gap right from literacy, school education, collegiate education, collegiate and university education, and also in the skill sector. We, when we talk about higher education, we talk about, we compare the developed countries' gross enrollment ratio. We say that it is over 50, over 70 to 80 percent, where the average is some uh, 30, 35 percent. Our average is only 12 percent. Our gross enrollment ratio is only 12 percent. That is, if we take the 18 to 23 age group, we get only 12 of them get the opportunity of entering into university education. We are talking, we are talking about the 18 to 23 age group and then say that out of that 18 to 23 age group, only 12 percent get the, get the opportunity of entering into the college or university. If you just look at all the so-called developed countries, a linking between the vocational education system and the higher education system was, is, is happening. And therefore, one important point which we have to consider is uh, making the, the collegiate and university education system relevant by linking it with the vocational and higher education sector. And this is uh, by creating a national skills uh, quali and qualification framework in the country, uh, we, we may be able to achieve this. We talk about in integration of technology. Definitely, in information and communication technology is very important. But we should also understand that technology should not be for technology's sake. Technology cannot teach. Only teachers can teach. And therefore, teachers should be equipped with technology. Teachers should understand how information and communication technology can be effectively utilized to enhance the teaching learning process in the classroom. 